fair answer. Okay, so one student wanted to know if you ever um, struggled between accounting or finance. Um, I think I know the answer, but I'll let you take it. Uh, never. Um, I even took extra, I even sat in on extra accounting classes when I was uh, teaching at, at Ivy. Uh, I still don't know the difference between a debit and a credit. One's the door and one's the window or something. One's the door. <laughs> I still don't know what the door in the window is, but you um, know, having said that, I, I think I'm very, very, very good at ripping apart a company's financial statement. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the knowledge there, there, would be there yeah. regardless if you attain it from the finance or the accounting section. Yeah. yeah. No, for sure. Um, and then let's see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. um somebody would like to know, just in general, um, big buckets and you know, I know that they're Googleable, but it's nice to hear from a reputable source versus, you know, what you find on different glass door. But in general, like what are the main kind of types of buckets of jobs that students might be able to go in? And like, what is the lifestyle and the financial rewards that could be with them nowadays? And is that even feasible? Um, I did promise that I asked, and I think it's a good thing to ask because I know what it is in accounting. I just don't know what it is in finance. Um, you know, I'm probably not the person to ask of that now uh I, I and also it, it, it's very different from my day yeah okay? sure. uh, i was very lucky in terms of my timing uh when i got in and where i got in and how i got in um i've been a very 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 lucky knock on wood uh throughout my career uh having said that next to being a professional athlete or um you know, or a Hollywood star, there's very few careers that you can uh, take with as little talent as you can finance and do as well as you can in finance. Okay. Fair. That's definitely uh, food for thought. Um, something that I like to ask all my guests, and I'll give you a moment, this isn't really necessarily a rapid fire one, but is about the definition of success. Um, so I would, I would love to know if you're willing to share and as like yeah. with anything else. Definition um, of success is seeing all of my daughters, uh, rug, almost all of my daughters rugby games. Definition of success is sitting down by the lake, feeding the ducks. Definition of success is knowing that my family is clothed, clothed, housed, and fed. De definition of success is, although I cringe at night when I look in the mirror, realizing that at least I tried. Uh, might not have implemented all that well, but at least I tried. Um, definition of success is that you showed up. It, it's not, it wasn't always pretty. It wasn't always perfect, but you showed up and you tried. I love it. Uh, I, I Just to continue, please. I, I stress to my class that the, uh, the goal in finance in the textbook is to maximize wealth. Okay, uh, that's actually a bastardization of the economic theory. The economic theory is to maximize utility, which we then shorten to maximize utility wealth because we can't really measure utility. And then which we shorten to maximize wealth. The real theory is to maximize utility. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, having a student Having the light bulb come on for a student, man, I don't know how many shekels that's worth, but it's worth a hell of a lot. Absolutely. Rick, one last thing, your elevator pitch equivalent of advice to management students, first year, second year, third year, fourth year, as they're leaving Dow, one thing that you want them to kind of remember, take with them and own into the future. Um, learn how to learn and learn how to take risks. Okay. Uh, my definition of risk is risk is possible that bad or good things may happen. Of course, my field is complexity, and my next book is tentatively titled Muddle, which is about VUCA, volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity. Uh, learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Uh, you are, for students of Dow, I'll put a plug for Dow, uh, or you're going to a good school. You're going to a school where, by and large, I think that we have uh, professors that actually give a hoot. Okay, uh, that's probably, in my mind, 
the best value of DAO. I realize I'm critical a lot of times of, of some of the things that we do at DAO and some of the things that, that, that people do at DAO, but ultimately, uh, by and large, DAO has a set of professors who care. Take that caring and learn to learn. Uh, knowledge is an almost useless commodity. Again, students who have taken my class have heard me say numerous times, if you know everything that there is in the finance textbook, you're worth $225, <laughs> okay? Uh, your job, your career is going to be something that you cannot in your wildest dreams imagine. Uh, the career of most of our students, uh, the job that they're going to be doing 10 to 15 years from now actually currently doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay. So you can't even define it. You, uh, it's how you connect the dots of your knowledge that count, not the knowledge that counts. It's how you deal with uncertainty. It's how you deal with volatility. Coming back to the resilience, it's, it's how you create your resilience. It's how you create your self-esteem. Yeah, guess what? No one is, is more ticked off at themselves than me at the end of many a day. But it's how you get up in the morning and say, hey, guess what? I'm going to try again. You know, real quick story. You know, I'm very proud of being Lone Star Conference champion. Yes, it was Division Two. Yes, it doesn't, you know, wasn't Division One. But you know, I grew up in New Brunswick without a single tennis lesson, and I went to Texas, and I kicked ass within my division. Yes. And the sole reason I did that was, it was definitely not because I was the best player. It's because I did everything I could to never make the same mistake twice. And that doesn't, didn't mean that I didn't make another mistake, but was, at least I was going to make a different mistake. And uh, so... If you're not perfect, who cares? Because I, I sure as hell ain't. Um, and it's realizing that tomorrow's another day and you have another opportunity to try to be a little bit better. Absolutely. If you're not failing or making mistakes, yeah. maybe you're so, not trying hard enough. You know, it's not your grades. Um, it's not the fact that you know the capital asset pricing model. It's not that you understand, you know, uh, T strips or whatever the hell it was that you guys use, uh, you, you know. T strips. Double entry, <laughs> oh, okay. you know, Sorry, double, entry book, double entry bookkeeping is, <laughs> you know, a, a, a total mystery to me. So therefore, I, I've, I've made a every accounting prop is going to have a good joke for the next five years. Uh, whatever after, White Shoals uh, model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever about the White Shoals model. Yeah, uh, oh, passion, passion trumps everything.